Marcus Rashford loves a late winner in Paris United. Doing it again tonight. 2-1 winners away at PSG with all the odds against us. But we did it again. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer did it again at a starting 11, just like the Newcastle game. But it kind of left you scratching your head a little bit. Twan Zebe playing his first game in 10 months, but with Bay and Maguire out, he needed to do that. Fred and McTominay in midfield with Pogba and Van der Beek on the bench. But United did it. Bruno Fernandes for the second game in a row missed the penalty, scored the, re scored the retake. United win 2-1 away in Paris. What's your reaction to that? Who was your man of the match? And I genuinely have no idea who the man of the match was in that performance because it was a... a I wouldn't say a complete team performance. It was a complete first 45 minutes from United. Not only were we sort of beaten PSG, we were in total control of that game against PSG. Alex Tellez, in his debut, ooh, those whipped left-footed crosses. I haven't really seen a United player do crosses like that in some time. And it's almost going to make him 15, 16, however much it would cost to sign him. It's going to be worth that alone for his corners that he's going to bring to the team. Tellers look really, really good and Shaw looks very good, I think, as a left centre-back, a third left centre-back. Much more comfortable there than he is as a left-back, I think, anyway. But just overall, the whole team shape, it worked in the first half. Every single United player knew their role and every single United player executed their role perfectly. It was a proper team performance in that first 45 minutes. Out of the ball, the press was fantastic. On the ball, we were counter-attacking with pace. And Rashford, up until that last fantastic winner from him, let's be honest, it, honest let's be honest, his decision-making was woeful. It really, really was. But that's why you don't take Rashford off the pitch, I suppose, because he can come up with moments like that. And he did it again in Paris when United needed him to the most. Ooh, what a hit. What a finish. What an overall performance that was... It was unexpected. I think United were like four and a half to one to win that game. So it goes to show you how unexpected it was. And with a front three of Mbappe and Neymar and Di Maria, 500 plus club goals between them, United were expected to get pumped with what was a makeshift back five. It was a, a back five which had never played with each other before. Tedes making his debut. Twan Zebe, with his first performance in 10 months up against Mbappe and Neymar, goes and plays like that. Aaron Wan-Bissaka, so many slide tackles, perfectly timed from Wan Bissaka. This is what I mean. And Fred in midfield, you could argue he was man of the match. McTominay did his job perfectly and his role perfectly. Popper came on and really solidified up that midfield, gave us an outlet, somebody who can control the ball. And I think he got the assist for Rashford's winner. All over the pitch, every man, every man deserved. I haven't even talked about David De Gea yet. De Gea, probably with his best performance of the season, best performance in a few years, let alone. Point blank saves, fingertip saves, commanding his area. Jeez. United, look, that Newcastle game at the weekend, going into that game, there was so much pressure on United to perform. And we were one all going into the 85th minute at St. James' Park. And we won that game 4-1. And Bruno inspired that performance. That game there, Bruno's penalty, he showed... Balls of steel to put it in the same spot. But it was just an overall team unit performance. As I said, going into that second half, <clears throat> PSG, I think they brought Keane on at halftime. They switched up their shape and United ret retreated. We retracted and PSG were all over us. And it wasn't a surprise to see their goal go in. Well, it was a surprise to see how they scored. Martial with a header that looked more like a match-fixing header. It was that crap. No one around him just decided to head it the other way. But it didn't matter because Rashford came up with that winner at the end. And in a, in a group of death, with Leipzig, with PSG and with Istanbul, United were not expected to do anything in the Champions League this year. And I don't, still don't think we are. But it, for me, it seems like when Man United are the underdog, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is the perfect manager to have to inspire that dressing room to think that they can do things against the odds. Because we've done it so often in the bigger games... Our record in the big games under Solskjaer is fantastic. Our record in these sorts of games is not impeccable, but it's better than it is against the likes of Burnley and, I don't know who else, West Brom. But United tonight, as I said, we haven't just beaten PSG there. That first 45 minutes, we totally controlled the game from start to finish and completely deserved to be in the lead. 
in that second half, it was a different story. But United managed to switch it around because let's be honest, it had that finish 1-1, I think a lot of us would have felt that was two points dropped. We had so many chances. Rashford's decision-making, as I said, he's really got to work on that, man. That winner there, that means you can forget about anything else he did in that game. But going onto that training pitch, he'll be talking with Solskjaer. He'll know what he needs to do. And that needs to improve. But United there, coming away from the Parc de Prince with three points to start the Champions League group stage in a group that nobody gives us a chance of getting out of. That was the perfect start. I honestly have no idea who I'm going to choose for man of the match. I'm probably going to go, it's not very glamorous, but I'm going to go for Twanzebe because for him to come into that for 10 months out, playing, a back, playing in a back five with a, against Mbappe, Di Maria and Neymar and to play as confidently and as assured as he did it's exactly what United need because our centre-backs have been shaky to be polite to them. Let's be honest. So if on that performance, Twanzebe is going to come straight into that team in the Premier League. And I, for one, am excited about that. But Tellez on his debut. Yes, please. Wambasaka. He played great. Shaw. Lindelof. Twanzebe. De Gea. Fred McTominay. Martial and Rashford, I think, probably blew the coldest. But then Rashford came up with the winner towards the end. And we did it without Greenwood, we did it without Cavani. Van der Beek came on, he didn't have too much of an influence on the game, but Pogba did. Three points, 2-1, happy days. Who was your man of the match and what's your reaction to that? But you've got to be buzzing about that. A 4-1 against Newcastle, followed up with a 2-1 against PSG. Yes, please. Bring on Chelsea next.